Hello there, fire pit people. It's Jonathan Howie, Montana Fire Pits, and this is a new segment we're calling Fireside Chats. Here you go. In this video, because I like to get straight to the point, in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about trends. Trends that we're noticing in the industry, okay? And we can talk about trends because we've been at it for seven years now. Outdoor gas fire features are still uh, one of the most requested items in outdoor renovation for your home. Now, whether that's residential or commercial, your outdoor living space is absolutely an extension of your home. In the state of Montana here, we have a tagline, and Montana is known as the last best place. So we like to say about that, about your backyard, about your outdoor living, that your backyard is the last best place. What does that mean? That you've exhausted all these other places um, and you've come back home and you've put your money, your resources, your time into your backyard and Fire has become the central focus of that, specifically gas fire features. Now, the trend has gone from when this, when this thing was starting, right, you could go buy a paver kit, a round paver kit from your big box store, and you'd build a circle around it, and you'd put a burner inside of it. And that is fantastic, and it's amazing. And we've seen so many of your builds that have that as the center. Then it was almost like your contractor on site or your builder would build a circle out of CMU bricks or even a ready to finish kit where you're finishing those sides with a dry stack stone. You're still finding a burner to put inside of it. You're running a propane line, a natural gas line, but you're putting a burner inside of something, okay? Then the trend goes to turnkey, right? I want a complete solution. Those complete solutions now have taken the form of a GFRC, right? The fiberglass reinforced concrete in bowls, in tables. The interesting thing is the trend, you think things would get funky shapes and things like this? No. Nope. You know what people want? Squares, circles, and rectangles because they're easy to visualize in your space. That's their ease, they're relatively easy to build. And so while that trend is gone, the shape has stayed the same. Um, we're looking at complete units. Okay. So the next trend that's happening in gas fire is, is that they're getting bigger, bigger fire, bigger gas lines, more fuel. You want it. 15 feet long, you want it uh, six feet across, you want it in an L shape, you want decorative fire features in multiple places in your build, you want one big central focus, you want a large fire for all of your friends and family to gather around. So that's an interesting trend that we're seeing is big fire. Okay. Another trend that we're noticing is commercial spaces. And these commercial spaces I like are getting multiple fire features. And this is thanks to you developers, you builders, you project managers, interior designers are getting super involved in these fire features. And what's happening is that you have a large development of 35 identical townhomes right, on a golf course or in a mountain resort. You want um, 35 matching fire features. That's a trend, uh, definitely. Matching, turnkey, custom, electronic ignition, large fires, everything. That's a trend. You need 15 of the same thing. It's an amazing trend. Another trend that we're noticing, and. I feel this, you feel this, everybody feels this, American made, 
right? The materials are sourced in America. The burners are built in America. The, the custom fire features are built in America. And you're not waiting for pieces and parts that are sitting on a container ship. You're just not. We're not as Montana Fire Pits. It's very, very important to us that we source American-made pieces and parts. So what that does is still keeps lead times relatively manageable, right? You still may be waiting a month to three months to get something super custom, but really, by and large, um, if you're ordering something, we can still turn that thing around in six weeks, right? Another interesting trend sort of along the line of design, right, is that you want these fire features to have multiple uses. When it's a fire, let's make it a fire. But if it's not a fire, let's have a flush matching cover to turn it into a piece of furniture, to turn it into a table, right? So that you can um, put some dinner plates around it or you can actually eat a meal and then it's time for the fire, let's pull that lid off and let's let this thing roar. Um, that's, a, that's a slightly specific design trend, but it's a trend that we've seen nonetheless. Matching flush covers. Since we're talking about design, another thing is that We've mentioned complete systems like GFRC, turnkey. I want, here's my space. This is the size that I need. You guys just make it happen and ship it to me. That's amazing. Now it is uh, almost differentiating between what material you're going to use. Okay, so I'm gonna riff here on complete systems for a minute. It started with ready to finish, right? And we know what ready to finish is. It's a frame with concrete board on it that your contractor is going to finish with some material. Typically that is a stacked stone matching your house or matching um, the, the stone that you have around your pool, something like that, you get it. Then it was GFRC. Fiberglass reinforced concrete, bowls, tables. Um, it's, it's very durable. It looks fantastic. It's a little bit lighter than just casting this thing in place with concrete. Now, the trend is steel. Steel fire tables. Custom steel fire tables. And by steel fire tables, these are not stamped out of a giant press overseas and shipped on a container. These are bespoke, custom, high-end, hand-built uh, steel fire tables. Again, squares, rectangles, and circles, but you can get them powder-coated in your color, right? And we can adjust the shape by inches to get your dimensions. Again, is if we're talking with designers and builders and project managers, which we are, you as designers know that a one size fits all does not work. You have the dimensions that you have. And that steel fire table may be 32 by 78, right? Or you say, you know what? Actually, let's make it 36 by 84. We have the flexibility now in powder coated steel to make that happen and to still get you exactly what you're designing for the space that you're designing it for in your colors, in your size of burner, in something that's still manageable on site. Now, what do I mean by manageable on site? I mean, when this thing shows up, a couple of guys can move it into place, okay? This is, this is shifting a little bit. If you have a concrete fire table that weighs the large ones, five, 600 pounds, people are installing these on rooftop decks or second level decks. With now the introduction of steel, now it becomes 
a still large custom fire feature, but you're able to manage it. You're able to, to handle this thing. It's still a thing, right? To move an eight, a seven foot by three foot fire table is still a thing, but maybe not quite so intense because it weighs a little bit less. So let's talk about the size of the fire. Okay, um, in the early days, it was, you might have a burner that's cranking out 60,000 BTUs, okay? I'm not gonna get in the weeds about what the heck a BTU is and what that means, right? But just, it's, it's a measure of heat. It's a measure of something, right? And if you establish this baseline of a fire pit burner at 60,000 BTUs, and you are specifying burners consistently that are 300,000 BTUs. That's a big fire pushing a lot of fuel. But y'all want big fires. If you're centering your life around it, you wanna be able to feel it. 300,000 BTUs and up. And it is not uncommon for us to be producing custom burners in the world of 700, 800,000, even a million BTUs. These are big, big fires. It's a trend. And that's perfectly okay. That's the thing too to take away is that all of this is okay. It's doable. It's fun. There's, there's effectively no limits to what you can design and then put a fire inside of it. It's not often that you come across a trend in an industry that's just kind of blowing the doors off what's possible. And that's what we're doing with fire. That's pretty cool, I think. So the last trend I wanna talk about is as you're making your backyard your oasis, your last best place, you are all designing and building these incredible outdoor kitchens. You're building a second kitchen, right? And while it may not be new, it's not new. Grilling is not new, outdoor kitchens is not new, but it is trending upwards. And since we're talking about trends, we as a company are gonna get on that trend and we're going to start designing fabricating, specifying, and working with you all on the same custom uh, outdoor kitchens, which is extremely exciting for us um, to be able to give you guys another resource for that. Enough on that. We'll talk about that more in the future, but that's kind of the, we see the trends, we watch it as a company. What kind of company would we be if we're not up on the trends? So there you go. Outdoor kitchens, big fire, complete, American made, um, steel, all of these things is still just, just all working together to form an incredible industry that we get to be a part of. And that's a wrap for episode one of Fireside Chats. Jonathan Howie, Montana Fire Pits, montanafirepits.com. Talk to you soon.